Hello. Hello. And that was me up in Matlock in Derbyshire with the Peat Railway Society helping to restore a standard Class 4 tank engine, number 80080. And you can find out how I got on a bit later in the programme. But first of all, as you've probably already guessed from our outfits, we're in the mood for a spot of tennis. The world's most famous tournament is due to start the week after next. And 300,000 tennis fans are expected to flock to Wimbledon to see 600 matches being played. Here's the highlight of last year's Wimbledon, the men's singles finals. That's it! What a superb match that was, a real classic. And, of course, the remarkable young man, Bjorn Borg, went on to make history by winning the men's singles titles five years running. Well, very sadly, it's an amazing 45 years since anyone here in Britain has won that coveted top title. And experts say they think the reason is because children here in Britain just don't have as good of facilities to practice as children in countries like Sweden or the United States, for example. For instance, hardly any children can play tennis under the age of 13 at school, and most tennis clubs won't allow children under the age of 12 to join. But at last it looks like there's a ray of hope on the horizon, because in the east of England, something called short tennis, which is suitable for very young children, is being played. The children of Mulbarton First School have been trying it out for the last six months now, and Rebecca Shoebrook, that's her in the middle, who's eight years old, wrote to tell us that she's just won the very first national short tennis tournament. And she says another prize is to meet Bjorn Borg tomorrow. Well, that's quite a prize. And if, like us, you're still mystified as to exactly what short tennis is really like, well, we've set up a couple of courts here in the studio, and Rachel and some other players from Mulbarton School have come along to give us a demonstration. Well, you can tell at a glance that short tennis is played on a short tennis court. It's about the size of a badminton court, but the, uh, the net is just a bit smaller than an ordinary tennis court. Now, the tennis racket is a, a short plastic black one like this, and the balls that they use are not ordinary tennis balls, they're soft foam rubber balls like this, which are very bouncy. Now, the great advantage of playing short tennis is that it's much easier to play than ordinary tennis, and that means that children can have long rallies together, they can have lots of backhands, forehands, sort of Mac and Roe type lobs. Now, on the court today we've got Rebecca, who's playing nine-year-old Michael Elkins, and Michael's also uh, a short tennis champion, but he's the only bloke that doesn't come from uh, Mulbarton School. He comes from Fairway Middle School. Well, hello, champs. Well done on winning your championships. How easy, Rebecca, did you find it to pick up short tennis? Yes, it was easy. Was it easy? You yeah. picked it up straight away, did you? Yes. And what about you, Michael? Yes. It was easy for you too. Well, tell me about the points. Do you score the same as you do in ordinary tennis, or is it different? No, you score one love, two love, three love, and so on. And that's whether you're serving or not? Yeah. And can you play outside as well as indoors? Well, because of the sponge ball, it's not very easy. And they're designing a new one. Um, Heavier ball to play outside. Oh, well, that's good. And, Rebecca, have you uh, played ordinary tennis yet? Yes. You have? And do you find that uh, playing short tennis has helped you with your proper tennis? Yes, I think oh, so. Oh, that's terrific. Well, Simon, Sarah and I, we didn't have the advantage of playing short tennis when we were eight years old, but there's nothing like starting late, so we're all going to have a go now, aren't we? Ah, uh, yes, but tennis was never my strong point. Yes, I have heard never that. Ever. Yes, right, so I'm going to stay up this end and I'm going to let uh, you and Simon take on the champions, I think. Right, okay. Perhaps I should play long tennis. Long tennis. <laughs> Well, I'll take on Michael then, okay, shall I? Okay, and I'll take you on Rebecca. Now, they don't usually use these courts for playing doubles, but they're very handy for four people to play at singles, and that's the way they play it at school. And what's more, it's very good for saving space. So off we go. Now then, Rebecca, how do you serve? Is it overarm or underarm? Well, you can serve either way. Either way. All right, well, I'll start to serve, and I'll do the way I know it. Overarm, okay? Back and roll to serve. Go. And it's a volley from ball. Up to the net. Oh, tricky one. Out. Your point, your point. There you go, well done. One point to Borg. It's your next serve. Surface. There you go. I'm playing Vaughan Borg, you know, yeah? <laughs> it's your... Ready? It's your next service. Right. You have two. Four. A fast okay. top spin return there. Oops. Mackin goes... What Mackin. a rally, what a rally. Mackin goes for his spin serve. Oh, that was painful. Oh. Volley at the net. This is... A... 
Oh, as you can see, that really is a lot of fun, but we thought it would be a good idea if we stood back and let Peter have a go at Michael so that we can see the whole court in action. So take it away. Ready, Borg? Mac and Row to serve. Oh, it's right to the back of the court. Borg has to run back. He's going from side to side. It's a backhand. What a rally this is turning out to be. Oh, net. Right, here we go again. One point to McEnroe. There we go. Oh, it's right to the back. He moves up to the net. Oh, it's close. Up again. Quick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finished. Borg wins by two points to nil. Oh, well, that was a scintillating rally, wasn't it? It was worthy of Wimbledon itself, and who knows, perhaps if uh, Sarah Peter and I had had the chance of playing short tennis at primary school, one of us might have been a Wimbledon champion. Well, let's hope that that happens to perhaps some of these players who've come along to give us a demonstration today. Thank you all very much for coming along and yes, giving yeah, us a lot of fun.